Hi everyone, I'm Pratibha. I welcome you all to my channel. I thank all the subscribers for supporting this channel. Today uh, on the screen you may find one question from definite integral, integrate 0 to infinity, 6 over e power 3x plus 6, e power 2x plus 11, e power x plus 6 dx. These options are log e 64 over 27 log e 32 over 27 log e 512 by 27 and log e 64 over 81. So analyzing the denominator e power 3x plus 6, e power 2x plus 11, e power x plus 6. We will make this whole integral as partial fractions. So I am taking let e power x equals to a, then e to the power 3x plus 6, e to the power 2x plus 11, e power x, e power x plus 6 will be a q plus 6 a square plus 11 a plus 6. So I will factorize using the factor theorem minus 1 minus 1 is a root of this or I am uh, factorizing in this way splitting 6 as a square plus 5 a square and splitting 11 a as 5 a plus 6 a 6 so this equals to a square taking common a plus 1 plus 5a taking common or plus sorry a taking common If a taking common and a plus 1 and 6 taking common again it will be a plus 1 or this is your a plus 1 multiplied a square plus 5a plus 6 and further factorization it will be a plus 1 into a plus 2 a plus 3. So now I am writing the integral. Instead of writing the integral, I am writing in uh, a term. So 6 a plus 1, 6x plus a plus 2 into a plus 3. We will convert this into 3 linear factor, linear factor denominator a plus 1 plus b a plus 2 plus c a plus 3 to find the value of your abc so a into a plus 2 into a plus 3 is b into a plus 1 into a plus 3 plus c into a plus 1 into a plus 2 equals to 6 what i did i compare the comparing the numerator. What I am going to do, I am getting the value of a, b, c. So taking a, b, c orbital constant we have taken, I first I am taking a equals to negative 1, then this b component and c component will vanish. So a into negative uh, positive 1 into positive 2 equals to right side is 6. So this gives us a equals to 3. Now taking a equals to negative 2, then first and third will vanish. It will become 0. So b negative 1 and 1 equals to 6. This gives b equals to your negative 6. And for c, a will take a equals to negative 3. Then c into negative 2 into negative 1. 
equals to 6, this gives c equals to again 3. So we got the partial fraction a over a plus 1, b over a plus 2 and c over a plus 3 where a equals to e power x. So writing the original question 0 to infinity 6 dx over e to the power 3x plus 6 e to the power 2x plus 11 e to the power x plus 6 equals to now 0 to a equals to your 3 over e to the power x plus 1. Second is negative 6 by e to the power x plus 2. And third is 3 over e to the power x plus 3 over dx. So we'll go one by one. So here we'll divide e to the power x both in numerator and denominator. Then we'll get 0 to infinity. First one will be 3 e to the power negative x over 1 plus e to the power negative x dx. Second one will be minus 6 0 to infinity dx e to the power negative x over here 1 plus 2 into e to the power negative x plus third one will be in 3 dx of course e to the power negative x over 1 plus 3 e to the power negative x dx and all the integral is 0 to infinity. So here it is your 3 the 1 plus e to the power minus x 0 to infinity this is minus 6 log 1 plus e to the power minus x sorry 2 plus 1 e to the power minus x then a mistake 1 plus 2 e to the power minus x divided by 2 from 0 to infinity and third one is 3 log 1 plus 3 e to the power minus x 0 to infinity divided by 3. Now getting the value this will be 3 log 2 because you will put, put infinity it will be 0 and if it is 0 it will becomes 2 minus 3 this will be log 3 and this will be your log 4 now simplifying this will be log 2 power 3 multiplies 4 over log 3 power 3. So it will be log 32 uh, it's not log is 7. One is the answer. Answer is 
2 is the answer. If there will be confusion taking this limit, we can take 1 plus e, e to the power minus x as t. And you can change the limit. It will be 0 to 1. Thank you for watching.